Hey guys, Enoch Placer bringing you guys another video. Today is Tap Titans 2, I believe part 138. I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. I'm really excited because today is tournament day. I thought it was yesterday, but it is today and I'm ready to get on this grind. It's going to be skill points and perks today. Both things that I feel like we are, aren't, I guess, super in need of, but that are definitely going to help. Um, if we take a look at our perks here, we got power swiping, obviously way too many of those. Uh, we have adrenaline rush. We have six of them. We're going to go and pop that one right now only three make it rain so this would be really nice if we can get like first and pop like 10 or you know like eight make it rains would be absolutely awesome um mana potion we have eight left which is nice but i normally only use about one of these um because normally right now when i'm just farming for relics i don't really run out of mana that quickly so that's good to know normally when i do long pushes i normally do those tomorrow uh because right now it's like 10 o'clock at night so i'll do a little bit of pushing tonight and farming some relics and stuff like that and then tomorrow is the big pushing and that's when i normally need mana potion uh, we also got six doom lefts and we're gonna go and activate that guy right now but i will activate mana potion like i said probably around tomorrow or whenever i need the mana honestly the mana regeneration is nice but filling up your mana bar is really really helpful when you are deep into that you know hard push um obviously we don't have any of these to go and upgrade so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and prestige right now or join the tournament i guess uh, like i said it's just after 10 o'clock so i'm really really hoping we get a decent time uh remaining because there has been times where i joined at like 8 30 and you know because the tournament starts at six so normally i'll join it like you know two and a half hours later and i lose that two hours or lose two and a half hours which really really does suck uh, but we're gonna go and join the tournament here um i'm glad that i'm remembering to join the tournament and not just prestiging the amount of times that i've done that it's just absolutely absurd but here is the moment of truth wow okay this is perfect so 23 hours 59 minutes you know this started literally a minute ago it's 10 11 right now so i guess it started at 10 10 but this is awesome because i've never joined a tournament by myself before so at the moment obviously we're the only person in here but let's hope within the next four hours no one joins us this could be my first ever solo tournament that's going to be really helpful uh, because obviously we're getting the maximum on rewards without really doing anything and this gives me a lot more time to really farm some relics and you know not i'm not going to push way way past our current max stage i'm going to kind of hold it back but make sure we have the potential to reach higher than that but we're going to go ahead and start pushing here we're going to go and start by obviously purchasing some of our abilities we're going to go and max out warcry and get him to push one thing i did want to talk about kind of oh yeah we just joined the tournament so it is going to be a little bit more difficult we should just be able to get away with this uh no we are going to need deadly strike as well unfortunately and we still can't even defeat a titan uh range hero throw that helmet on something I, okay there we go maybe we'll start getting enough money to go and purchase a ton more upgrades there we go but one thing i wanted to talk again with you guys about today is the uh equipment pieces so yesterday we kind of briefly talked about it you guys actually said you recommend now that we have um the as soon as we finish mechanized sword and we finish ancient warrior maybe i should start working on some legendaries again uh so i haven't really built too many legendaries if you take a look the only ones that have actually completely finished is noble fencer and eternal monk those are the only two that i've ever you know fully finished but you guys were saying there is some good still uh you know mythic sets obviously one being um let's just make sure our climate is doing okay i'll go ahead and activate him again and then we'll talk about it i think one was treasure hunter um he said it was really good on the long long run that was the one that i said that increases your the chance of getting you know mythics or rares or better i believe it said equipment pieces uh so obviously gonna help us finish you know legendary sets and rare sets and all this stuff but as well as he pointed out something that i didn't really understand or didn't really think of i guess um is the amount of diamonds you're going to be getting from these so even if you do get a rare one that's getting you i think it's another four diamonds compared to a common so right there just from one equipment piece you're getting four extra diamonds so really this is a good way to you know finish your sets increase your prestige relics all this stuff because obviously that's all rewards that you get from you know finishing sets but you also are earning diamonds from it which is weird to think about but you are so that's another added bonus that i guess it doesn't really list on the you know bonuses there but it is something that you are going to be benefiting from for sure uh so that's another interesting one but he did think that it would be f smart and beneficial to finish some of these off so for example the one we already have noble fencer we already have eternal monk but something even just like anniversary gold spending 36 crafting shards on finishing this times five all damage times five all gold that is awesome just for you know 36 crafting shards it is really really nice 
Um, there's some that we are pretty close to. I mean, legacy pet damage. We can go and get two of those, 32 each. Um, obviously, it's going to go up. But, you know, we have one here, inactive sneak count for 36 crafting shards. Like, these are cheap, cheap sets that we can go and finish. And, you know, with a couple hundred crafting shards, really, we can go ahead and finish quite a few sets here. Um, uh, this one we can finish. So, 32, but we're missing two pieces. Uh, what other ones here? We're missing three. Yeah, that's a bit far off. Missing two there. That's okay. Missing two there, missing two there, two there, and one there. We have a lot of sets. So there's just a couple hundred crafting shards we could actually go and finish, which is really interesting. Um, I do want to go and do my raid attacks here. This was perfect timing. Four attacks uh, just reset a couple hours ago. But low jack, I believe, well, I don't even need to. I always get low jack mixed up with the one that you can't attack the left hand on. Uh, but really, it doesn't matter because I don't really use the left hand that much. Uh, I'll use this deck on the head. I have another uh, chest deck. I have this deck for head, I have another head deck, I have a limb deck, and then I have a chest deck. So I do, I don't, the limb deck, I can really do anything. I'll do the right arm, I guess, most often. But you guys did point out that there is no damage difference between armor and no armor. And that was kind of interesting to me. Um, there is obviously, well, I fought with the new, he said that there was obviously the chance of there being a random amount of uh, fairy spawns. So even if you hit every single one in both comparisons, there may be more fairies in one than the other, but I thought they did change that because before the fairies would fly everywhere and there'd be a random amount of them. But I thought with this update or a little while ago with the update, made sure the fairies would always go towards your finger, but there wasn't as many of them or there, but there was always, wasn't as many. There's always a constant amount. I could be totally wrong on that, that's what i thought the update was so maybe there is going to be a little bit of variation maybe not but we did do 101 million damage which is absolutely awesome there that's a lot 600 taps obviously so we're going to go ahead and submit that one i feel like this deck is really really good but we need to optimize some of our other decks a lot more uh maybe getting a couple more levels or you know doing something to upgrade them a little bit more than what they are doing because some of them are still hitting you know like 100 400 000 damage which is kind of crazy when we have one deck over a million damage and some you know under you know under 500 000, which is kind of crazy uh so i'll leave the daily rewards here but i want to talk about the raid cards so we're going to leave that deck for right now no upgrades there no upgrades there no upgrades there but we do have 3800 raid dust so we're going to take a look here and clash of barrage is the only one that we're going to go ahead and purchase that's the only one we need which is kind of crazy i thought there was going to be quite a bit more i totally forgot to go in yesterday and finish off the video with taking a look at some of the raid cards in the shop but unfortunately i did go ahead and forget to do that uh but we do have a lot of raid dust we do definitely have to go and purchase some cards here very shortly uh, but we got collect equipment four times tap five fairies prestige one time watch this video and i totally forgot to show you guys our uh book of shadows so going into this tournament we were at 97 percent again absolutely amazing that was in three prestiges. did that one in three prestiges, which is awesome really really happy with that but unfortunately we still cannot go and purchase another artifact which does suck but you know eventually we should be able to get another one this tournament and we'll go ahead and use an artifact optimizer for the rest of our relics here but really, I kind of want to wait. I don't expect, you know, it was the first like minute. It's only been about eight minutes since this tournament has went live. But I really am curious to see, because if we are in a tournament by ourselves, like I said, I'm going to be increasing Book of Shadows. I'm going to be doing things like that. I'm not going to be doing massive, massive pushes. I'm going to be farming relics, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Um, and going into, you know, the next tournament with just a ton of banked relics, enough banked relics. Uh, to purchase multiple artifacts you know but really i'm i'm excited if we can get a no show tournament that gives us a ton of preparation days that's actually really exciting like i said we're gonna make sure our book of shadows percentage is you know high high 90s like 99 percent and then obviously have tons of relics banked so we can go ahead and as soon as we join that tournament you know spend a, you know purchase maybe two artifacts or something like that that'd be an awesome way to go and start a tournament and then hopefully as well that would be the crafting shirt tournament which would just be awesome um, but I'm just really excited. I'm thinking about all that stuff, but really there's four hours left that someone could join this tournament. I am nowhere near safe um, from other people joining. So we do have some time to kind of hope and pray that we do get it by ourselves. But really the chances of that happening are probably pretty slim, to be honest with you. If we take a look here. Our day eight reward is 50 diamonds. Unfortunately, no um, dragon fruits, obviously, because the event is over. But I was wondering because the event is over i thought that i wouldn't have my vip anymore and i don't believe i do uh one way we can go and check is skill tree Pre uh prestige to reset uh you're too close to your max oh okay well i guess that doesn't really tell me 
but I wanted to see if it did tell me that I had VIP still because I still can go ahead and skip all of the fairy ads if we take a look down here. Uh, video chests, we can go and collect this as well. I think we do still have the pass, but one thing I knew and you guys told me about was uh, that people, or once you spend over a certain amount of money, I don't know how much it is exactly, but once you spend over a certain amount of money, like collectively through buying all the passes and things like that, you automatically get the VIP, which means you get to skip fairies and things like that. Uh, or I think it's just skip fairies videos of uh, like skip the ads from the fairies but I don't think I've reached that limit yet I believe this is my third tournament and each pass is like $15 or $14 Canadian so I really haven't spent that much money on this game definitely nowhere near the you know $140 Canadian uh, that is down there to get the fairy video skippable ads uh, which gives us VIP status so I think we still have the rewards for this event still uh, not sure for how long. I don't know when this is going to go away. This is already the next day. So technically in game, this is already August 9th when you guys are watching this. So I don't know when this is going to go away, but I'm really, really enjoying it right now. I really, really am. I'm not going to lie. Let's go and do one more attack here. This is what I'm talking about. So we did 1.01 million damage. This is our second best deck. So if we take a look, let's just do the shoulder here. Um, just the difference between our first and second deck. Um, it kind of goes in order from damage, you know, highest damage to least damage. And I believe our, I think it goes first, second, fourth, and third. Uh, but I know our second deck here, this one is our second most damage. And I believe it is going to be around six to 700,000 damage. So that is quite a bit of damage. Oh, please don't. Oh, it broke. Okay. So that's not the best comparison. So we're going to lose a couple taps there, but not much. But I'm glad we did some damage there. We destroyed that thing, which is awesome. But if we take a look here. 685,000 damage, just 600 taps. So we optimize it the most. We went from 1.01 million damage all the way down to 685,000 damage. That is insane. 300, you know, 315,000 damage difference is crazy. That is a huge damage difference just from our first and second deck. And if you go further down, I mean, it goes down to, you know, in between four and 500,000 damage, which just isn't a ton to be honest with you guys. But We'll see. Hopefully over the next couple of days, we can go ahead and get lucky in the raid shop and purchase some more cards and get some upgrades in. But for the time being, thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content. And make sure to tune into tomorrow's video to see if we did actually get in a tournament by ourselves. Because when you guys see next video, it will be past four hours. We'll probably have around, you know, six hours, six to three hours left in the tournament. So it'll be, it'll be a good mid tournament update, but I'm really excited for that. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.